Hey everybody, I'd like to introduce Sophia. She's gonna be helping us out with today's lesson. And today we're going to do some beam balances. So we're gonna teach you how to do these. And these are things that you would do during a normal class. And these are positions that you will need to know if you plan on trying out for team someday. So first we're gonna start off with just what's called a beam stance. And this is how we stand on the beam when we're ready or we're preparing to do anything. And a lot of it has to do with our feet position. So I'm gonna zoom in on her feet. And if you can see her uh, heel of her front foot is at the arch of her back foot and I'll come around so you can see that you want to practice this remember you don't need to have a balance beam to do this you can just put a line with tape on the floor so you can see how the heel of her back foot is right where the or, sorry the heel of her front foot is where the arch on her back foot is so you can put your favorite foot in front and position your feet that way and then notice how nice and tall Sophia is standing with her chin up and her shoulders back. And this is just what we call a beam stance. This is how you, when you get on the beam, you get in position and you show that you're ready to move on, okay? The next thing that we're going to do is a squat. So she's not gonna move her feet, they're gonna stay in the same place, but when she squats, she lifts, her heels automatically lift up. So she's actually on her toes while she's in a squat. Again, notice how nice and tall Sophia is. Her chest is up, her shoulders are back, her chin is up. And I don't know if you can see it from here, I'm gonna move around with her. She's squeezing her thighs together because that also helps her to balance, okay? And then she'll stand and return to her beam stance. So the feet have not moved, okay? When we're all done going through these positions, I'm gonna have you try this with her. So you'll watch it all the way through, and then you'll watch it a second time and you'll participate as though you are in class, okay? So one more time, we're gonna squat, hold the squat, and stand. Good job. Okay, the next position is releve. So, you can go up and releve right where your feet are, or you can do what we call a lock. And that's when you take your back foot and you press it against the front foot. And when you do that, it helps you to balance. Another thing that helps you to balance is squeezing your booty. If your booty pops out behind you, then you're gonna lose your balance. And if your chest drops, you're gonna lose your balance. So notice how tight she is. Her arms are tight, shoulders are up. Chin is up, legs, leg muscles are tight, whoops! That's okay, it happens. And then she'll go back down to stand, good. And let's go one more time, we're just gonna hold it for five seconds. Up, one, two, three, four, five, and back down, good job. Okay, let's review. We're in a beam stance, her feet are perfect, her front foot, is uh, obviously slightly ahead of the back foot. The heel is in the arch of the back foot. And then she's gonna squat. We're gonna review squat, stand, releve, stand. Good job. Let's move on to the next position. This is going to be a coupe hold. Okay, coupe, in the coupe the toe of the foot that you lift is pointed to the ankle. You can keep your arms down tight or you can put them on your hips. It's your choice. Okay, again, nothing is moving except that foot. Uh, she's standing up tall, her chin is up. And again, the foot is pointed to the ankle and we'll return to stand. And coupe. One, two, three, four, five, and stand. Good. The next position we're going to do is a passe. So coupe, your foot was pointed at your ankle. A passe, your foot is pointed to your knee. Just like that. Her bottom foot is flat. She's standing up tall and she's just holding this position. Return to stand. And passe. One, two, three, four, five. Good, now we're gonna do a review. She's in her stand. Now we're gonna squat. One, 
two, three, four, five. Stand, releve, one, two, three, four, five. Stand, coupe, one, two, three, four, five. Put your foot back down and relax. And passe, one, two, three, four, five. Great job. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to point our favorite foot in the front. Okay, so again, bottom leg is straight. The one in the back is straight. And she's standing up tall, chin is up. And her good foot is pointed in the front. See, her toes are pointed. Good. And then return to stand. Good. And again, we're going to point in front and hold it. One, two, three, four, five. And bring it back. Good. Now we're going to take your other, your other leg, I think, and point it in the back. Yes. And crunch your toes onto the uh, beam or your line. Push it down. There you go. Just like this. So your foot is pointed and your toes are curled under. Legs are straight, both legs are straight, and again, you're not leaning forward, you're gonna stand up nice and tall and return to your stand, and we'll go back and count to five. Ready, go, point. One, two, three, four, five. And return to your stand, and let's do a full review. Are you ready? She's in a nice, tight stand, chest is up, we're gonna squat. One, two, three, four, five. Stand, releve. One, two, three, four, five. Stand. Coupe. One, two, three, four, five. Stand. Passe. One, two, oops, what happened? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Stand. Point your favorite foot in front. One, two, three, four, five five and the back leg one two three four five okay so relax for a second shake your body out shake it out relax rest okay we're making sophia work hard here okay so we're going to continue on we're going to go back to our stand and we're going to go to the foot pointed in the back let's point it in the back and we're going to balance there for three seconds and then we're going to do what's called an arabesque one, two, three. Arabesque, that back leg lifts up without your chest dropping. Go ahead and lower your leg uh, just about there. Now stand up really tall. There, we want it right there. We don't want to lean forward. If we lean forward, it's a scale. We want to stand up and we'll hold that. One, two, three. And back down to your foot. There you go. And let's do that again. We're going to start with our foot pointed in the back. One, two, three. Arabesque. One, two two, three, and back down, and stand. Good, that was perfect. So, now we've learned so many positions. Let's go through again, just to review. Are you ready? You're in your beam stance. Now we're gonna squat. One, two, three, four, five, stand. Releve, one, two, three, four, five, stand. Coupe hold, one, two, three, four, five, stand, good, passe, one, two, three, four, five, stand, point in front, one, two, three, four, five, stand, back, one, two, it's okay, one, two, three, four, five, arabesque, one, two, three, four, five, point, and back together. Good, that was a great beam lesson. You guys learned lots of positions. You can go through and do this again to give yourself a nice, long, balanced beam workout. And remember, these are important positions that you will need to know if you're ever gonna try out for team. They're also required to move up in certain levels. So practice, practice, and when we get back in the gym, you'll already know what to do, okay? Thank you, Sophia.